And that time is now. Welcome. Hello. Uh, this is the countdown mix or the countdown thing that I just put up in the beginning of the stream. So nice. And I'm putting down the wrong <laughs> slider. Oops. It's like, why is the music volume not going down? There we go. I was doing one next to it. You know, it kind of helps if you actually look or you know where it is, but I just had my hand on the wrong knob. Oops. <laughs> ah, welcome. It's a Monday yet again. These, these Mondays sneak up on us and surprise us with their awfulness. Sometimes, you know, they can bring good things. And with that, it is November. It is the 1st of November. We're only down to two months left of 2021. How crazy is that? That it's almost the end of the year. We're going to be starting 2022 in less than, well, actually just over two months. It's like, where did the time go? I don't know. We're stuck in our house for most of the year. and Well, a year and a half. And uh, yeah, that's where it went. Is people doing stuff at home. Baking bread, starting up streaming stuff over on uh, the platforms, and just being, well, self-obsessed uh, obsessed humans with different things and and all sorts of stuff like that. But anyways, tonight we are wanting to make our lives a little bit more organized, and one of the ways that we can do that, hopefully is by either using one of the surface surfaces well services i'm going to show you and uh, or different ideas i'm going to give you tonight tonight we're going to be going through organizing our chaotic life as a content creator now one of the different things that we can do is by i don't know trying software to help organize our life to making our ideas and our videos and planning out our creations throughout the week or month. It depends on how your workflow is and everyone is going to be different. A lot of this stuff or pretty much everything I'm going to be showing you tonight is going to be whatever you want it to be. It's your show, your content creation process, and it's exactly how you go about your daily life as a content creator. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you, it, well, actually, it's, there's three things I'm going to show you. One of them I've shown you before. Uh, if you looked at one of my previous videos, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Uh, there is two other off offerings that I will show you that will probably help you, you know, see if, if, this, if this is a way to help you you know organize your life a little bit more all right so let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of it all so what am i talking about here is well ways of content creation is keeping yourself organized somewhat so when you're working on your videos to upload to youtube you have to figure out how you're going to set things up. Do you write out your video descriptions beforehand? Or do you use a template that you can easily copy and paste? Because that's what I do for YouTube. And I'm also now on Facebook within our Facebook group or Facebook page. I should say it's not a group. It's a page. It's the Indie Creator Hub over on Facebook. Now, what I'll have these links and you can also find these links if you go to our website at indiecreatorhub.com and i'll have within the community tab at the very top uh later tonight and um, so you can easily find these links and uh get uh, bookmark them save them to your favorites but yeah i'm trying out uh we're restreaming to both or actually to all three to trovo youtube and facebook I decided against Twitch because of everything that has been going on with Twitch. It just would not 
uh, to put it lightly, it would not be in the best interest of continuing any kind of you no know, free advertisement or using their services. I wouldn't. I would not feel right in using their services when they ha- clearly have no intention of promoting, protecting, and taking care of the creators that are a part of their service. And I know there are probably, there are there are some lovely people that work there that want to try to make things better for the whole entire service and the creators that enjoy their time there. For myself, I don't see myself ever going back, except whenever I stream the Zero Point Report um, and I use it to get free stuff because that's all basically it's useful for is get free stuff. That's it. But otherwise than that, uh, we're streaming, going to be streaming from now until the near future is on YouTube, Trovo, and Facebook. I know, Facebook. Oh, how can you stream on Facebook and but not Twitch? It's the same but worse. Yes, but I'm trying to reach more of a global audience. That's where encompassing YouTube, Trovo, and in Facebook, they all come together because there is more of a global audience throughout these three services. Twitch, not really. It's pretty much North America and maybe a little bit of South America, and that's about it. Hey, that's that's okay. That's what it is. That's what they are. Because if you go to any other place in Europe or uh, anywhere else in the world and say, Hey, do you watch uh, this so-and-so on Twitch? And they'd be like, what's Twitch? That's a stupid name. Is it something about you know, someone having a medical, uh, abnor- uh, medical problem that they have to have this website and you want to watch? That's kind of... No, that's disgusting. But let's continue into our discussion for tonight. One of these, like I said before, I've already shown. I'm going to show you a uh, service I, I'm starting to use. It's called Airtable. And um, one, and this is... What's up, uh, Libra? How's it it going? If I use the right mouse, let me go ahead and show you. Show you what I got. Now, what is Airtable? It's basically a web-based database project management system. It has a free plan. There's pay plans as well that you can add or you can use. It has a capability to add more of your... um, more into whatever you're looking for but for free it fits the bill and I use it for figuring out um, planning out my content uh, I'm gonna be doing that and setting things up and I, it sets everything up in a nice easy to find way now what I'm looking at here is actually a template that I found and I'll post up the link in the description over on YouTube but it's a full-blown template that you can easily just open and then be off on your own and ready to go. Now, what this is, it shows everything I have here. I can set up the different projects I'm, I'm working on here. I like I have uh, content that's geared more for Gilded, uh, for Trovo. I got starting up one for Ecamm because this is the software that I use for streaming uh, and also general streaming content that I'm going to be working on, like tonight, which is the organization options, which, hey, that's what we're talking about tonight. Now, I know it looks complicated, but when you look at it and you start playing around with it, it starts becoming um, more like second uh, second nature. You can set up for podcasts, because that's why I set these episodes I do every Monday is a podcast that I set up on Anchor that goes out to Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Google Podcasts, and stuff like that. And um, and basically, that's it. 
And you have a section here that you can set up for, you can, you can title it as whatever you want. You don't have to have the title podcast. You can set it up as um, videos or um, happy, happy, good time shows. I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. And you can also set up social posts. So what we'll say after tonight, I'll go ahead and make a Facebook page or not a Facebook page, but a Facebook story. Uh, so if you want to do like Instagram stories or TikTok, you can set this up with links to each one when it was scheduled, what it was scheduled or what is it associated with and link to the template. And, and it's so pretty much self-explanatory here and you can change the different colors and stuff like that. This I'm not going to go through and how to do this. That's going to be like another uh, another video is where I break it down to actually how to do this step by step. But for now, this is just like like a quick look and one way that you can try organizing your yourself as a content creator and live streamer. Now, this is Airtable. Like again, there are pay plans, and I think they're what five dollars a month for. Uh, the lowest tier and of course there's a free version of that it has a lot of restrictions but for free it is a very usable uh, usable that you can set it up and you don't have to worry about you know going up against a, a block or a restriction I think you can have up to 1200 uh, data sets which means you can if you can hit 1200 episodes of a podcast that's great that's pretty much you set yourself up and you're probably on your way to going to 5,000 when you can go ahead and spare five bucks a month if you go ahead and do that but that's for the big spenders you know <laughs> now one other thing is something that's very similar it's called notion Airtable and notion are kind of similar there's a lot of different ways that you can go about it but they kind of serve the same purpose this is different companies that are competing against each other now i use i used to use notion oh a couple months ago uh with through the collective network uh my other um company that i was uh running yes i still do but i'm trying to branch out away from that but this is one thing that you can do and it runs off of templates as well like I said, this is very similar to Air, how Airtable is set up. You have different data sets or spreadsheets and stuff like that comes up however you want it designed to look like. And again, this is what you're looking at right now is my content planner that I downloaded from David Foster when he was running the Creator Toolkit. It's just a simple uh, like con board where you can move stuff left and right. Like if I want to move this particular thing over to two-tone waffle content or back over to stream help, or if I'm actually finished with it, I can move it over to done and it marks it as done. It's complete. Now there's other options here. I have set up, uh, let's see, I have the two-tone waffle. These are all the published videos I've put out on my YouTube video all the way up to, as you can see, August 28th. Now, of course, this is not um, uh, up to date because I haven't been adding anything to it, but it kind of gives you as a proof of concept of what these look like. So if I go into, let's say, Rise of the Dark Jedi, let's go ahead, open this up. You can set it up where it has your title this has a direct link to the YouTube video and a thumbnail when it was published and you can set this up at any way and there's I know there's templates that are more in depth more of a video production kind of template where you can keep track of your a roll a roll b rolls uh, your equipment listing you got location scouts with their location scouting with pictures email contact list with sponsors and contacts for locations it goes into like a super deep dive and it's very in like i said in, in depth so it's kind of mm, i want to say 
overwhelming when you first look at it. You're like, I don't, I'm not going to use any of my, or any of this. And what's going on? Truthfully, you're not going to use 98% of it. There are a few options within it. And there's other templates out there that you're going to look for on uh, Notion's website. And then also do like a, do a Google search for Notion template uh, content creation. Now, these are highly customizable. You can set this up. You can add a, another page or another entry here that... When you look at it, it's kind of a, a, a word processor type of database, how it, it functions certain, uh, pretty much. That you can put in a new field or a new table and have it all linked up together because all of this is all from the one database that I have right here from contact or uh, content. And it pulls the type or from or the channel into each page depending on whatever I have it looking for. Like I said, for a two-tone waffle one, it only looks for the two-tone waffle con or channel within this particular uh, table or this column. So this is Notion. Like I said, Airtable and Notion are pretty much one and the same. Uh, Airtable has, in, this is my opinion, um, a better look about it when you're looking at a um, like it shows more of an image it's more imaged styled uh, first look at when you open up a set in certain section I'm trying to find if there was a way to I don't think I have anything here but yeah you can have guests and then which episode they posted in on Airtable and you can do it also the same thing for on Notion you can set up the uh, your data set uh, data set within each database. Now, the next section or the next service again, you've already seen it before. If you're if you stream on Trovo, you probably have heard about it because it's been linked on or within their Discord plenty of times. This is called a service called Trello. Now, Trello is a little bit different. This is more of a what's called a con board that you can set up different rows so you can have let's say if you're doing content creation you can say um, pre-planning and you have all your content ideas within this particular row pre-production is like another one that you can move the stuff into that shows okay well this stuff is being ready to go and you can have a row for uh, video or recorded or live stream it again it depends on it's your your imagination is your only roadblock so you can set up as many uh features or as many um rows as possible that you can think of and this is actually free yes uh notion is also very comparable to Airtable. there is a free version and then there are also the paid tiers as well same thing for trello there is a free version and then there's also pay tiers and the pay tiers of course you unlock more of the service and that you're able to access and use but again that is a completely different i'll i'll go through and break um set it up how or make a video on how to set up your own trello board notion or Airtable board but again that's another video but this one is the actual trovo Trello board. This is their roadmap of what they're working on and actually implementing within the next month or two. Again, uh, like right now, we have the team features, squad streaming, and the channel panels. That's a kind of a tongue twister right there in and of itself that is already ready to go or be releasing um, actually this past month. Now, you can also see that they're working on some stuff that's going to be within the next two months. You got the Trovo or T500 page with the bonus bounties and data charts. Uh, within, you also got uh, gifting ACE memberships, Streamlab integration. So there is a lot of stuff that you can do. And uh, I believe, no, I can't, I can't move because I'm not... A member or I'm not signed in on this Trello board so 
like I showed you on Airtable, and the same thing as on Notion, you can move this into another board when it's, whenever it moves into another section that of uh, being worked on. Like I said before, if you're pre-planning, recording, post-production, and uh, setting up on YouTube and whatnot. So you can move your project from each section as it goes along on the creator content or the uh, creation timeline as it were. Now this is all software based. There are apps available that you can download for both iOS and Android on all three of these I've shown you so far. Now, one thing that is not software based is using a notepad. <laughs> yeah, just use a regular three ring college lined notepad that you can write your, your stuff down and do it. And it's going to be, it's what, a dollar for the notepad or whatever you want to use. And you can also use uh, Google Documents, uh, Google Sheets. You can set up a Google Sheet that is very similar to, it has your rows and columns that you can change and stuff like that. If, that's, if you're more comfortable within like an Excel type of spreadsheet style database. So these are just a few things that you can use to help keep yourself organized as you go about your content creation journey. As you know, you start growing as a uh, content creator and you start gaining members and viewers and <clears throat> excuse me, I just had to call my manager there. <laughs> Um, as you continue on your journey and your content creation. And also this works for live streaming as well, because you can set this up. I live streamed like Back for Blood. Let's say you streamed Back for Blood and you want to plan out a week. Great way to try using this as your, uh, your planner. Now, I'll have all the links into the description down below on the YouTube video. So... Don't worry about if you didn't catch anything but prior. Also, it'd be great if you go over to our website at IndieCreatorHub.com that you can show up, um, look, sign up on the forums. It's a great little community because I'm combining content creators and indie game makers. That's why it's called Indie Creator Hub. It's kind of like a mixture of all both worlds together. You can also find me over on Twitter at Two Ton Waffle. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>